بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Dear students and viewers assalamu alaikum welcome you all in today's lecture in today's lecture we are trying to learn linguistics mcqs and these mcqs are based on certain definitions and concepts that are used in phonology which is the branch of linguistics mcq number 1 the sounds which are produced without any obstruction in air passage and are produced with a free flow of air are called vowel sounds yes so vowel sounds are produced uh, when our mouth is open and uh, with a free flow of air so option a is the correct option mcq number 2 mark the number of monophthongs and diphthongs respectively yes in english language we have uh, monophthong means one vowel sound okay uh, combination of, uh, just mono means one monophthong means one vowel sound individual vowel sound and diphthong means two vowel sounds or we can say that uh, the combination of two monophthongs is known as diphthong okay and we have also triphthong triphthong means the combination of three vowel sounds or we can say that monophthong plus diphthong is equal to triphthong so in english language we have uh, 24 sounds 24 consonant sounds and 20 vowel sounds and these vowel sounds are further divided into two that are monophthongs and diphthongs okay so monophthongs are uh, 12 in english language and diphthongs are 8 okay so that's why they are collectively they are called uh, 20 vowel sounds so option a is the correct option that monophthongs are 12 and 8 are diphthongs in english language mcq number 3 read the transcription and judge the words like we have these are phonetic tra phonetic transcriptions okay read these transcriptions and uh, find out the words like we have the first one is flow flow not flower flow okay and another is automobile uh creature so option c is the correct option mcq is number 4 the study of speech pattern patterns is called is called phonology yes the study of sound patterns is called phonology and the general study of speech sounds is called phonetics mcq number 5 the smallest unit of speech sound is called phoneme yes the smallest meaningful sound in language is called phoneme okay phoneme and uh, means an individual sound which ha which has uh, meanings which brings changes in meaning okay a sound which brings changes in meaning is called phoneme like for example we can say that uh, but and cut okay just with the repl uh, with the replacement of b sound with k so changes occur in meanings but cut shut so the first one sh and k and b these are distinct phonemes because they are bringing uh, changes in meanings english language got 44 phonemes or uh, 44 sounds so option B is the correct option. The smallest unit of speech sound is called phoneme. MCQ number six. The version of one phone are called like the different versions of one phone are called allophone. Yes, phone means sound. Phone means sounds. Uh, means just one sound without uh, any reference to its meanings. Okay, uh, in Uh, phoneme we are like uh, referring to meanings of uh, that very phoneme but in phone we have uh, like we are not referring uh, we are not studying phones with reference to meanings but we are studying phonemes with reference to meanings because phonemes brings phonemes bring changes in meanings uh, while uh, phone uh, does not bring changes in meanings so the version of one phoneme or we can say that the different representation of one phoneme uh, sorry of one phone are called dash are called allophone okay 
Now, see, cue number seven. A sound produced with one puff of air is called a sound with one vowel sound. A sound with one vowel sound. Okay, syllable. A sound produced with one puff of air is called syllable. Is called syllable. Or a sound with one vowel sound is called uh, syllable. So, in syllable, one vowel sound is must. Okay, like uh, for example, Kate. C A T Kate. In Kate, we have one vowel sound. So, this one vowel sound is must for meaningful words. And that one vowel sound is also called uh, syllable. MCQ number 8. Syllable consists of onset and rhyme, while rhyme is further divided into two. Yes, syllable is uh, syllable uh, consists of two. Okay, on onset and rhyme. Onset means start. And rhyme position. We have uh, in syllable, we have onset position and we have rhyme position. W uh, rhyme position is further divided into a uh, nucleus and coda. Okay, nucleus and coda. Remember, it's very important. MCQ number nine. The consonants after the nucleus are called coda. Yes. So, at coda position, we have consonants. We have consonant. While in nucleus position, we have vowel sound. MCQ number 10. The syllabus, the syllabus is having onset in nucleus but not coda are called open syllables. Open syllables. Syllables having onset and nucleus but not coda position are called open syllable. The syllables having nucleus and coda but onset but no onset are called closed syllable. When we have uh, uh, when when coda when we have nucleus and coda position both are uh, available in one syllable but uh, onset is missing that that is called closed syllable. When uh, onset and uh, uh, nucleus are there but coda is missing so open syllable. MCQ number 12. There are one or more consonants before or after nucleus which describes consonant clusters. Consonant cluster. Okay. Uh, when 3 or 4 are uh, like we have uh, till 5. 5 consonants can uh, come uh, before or after nucleus position. So they are technically called uh, consonant cluster. MCQ number 13, when two phonemes occurring in a sequence and some aspect of one phoneme is taken or copied by another phoneme, by other phoneme, this process is called a lesion. Yes, this is one of the important concepts in phonology, in English phonology, that we are making a lesion. A lesion means when two sounds or two phonemes occurring in a sequence and some aspects of one phoneme is taken or copied by other phoneme. So, this process is called elision. Like for example, in dogs. Dogs. So, we have G in Z. So, uh, the aspect, some of the aspects of S are, uh, uh, are copied by the G. So, that's why they are dogs. They are dogs. And bids. We have bids. So, uh, in bids and dogs, there is a lesion uh, because uh, some of the aspects of one phoneme is copied by another phoneme. It's the last of that very word. MCQ number 14, also very important. The omission or deletion, okay, of some sounds from a word is known as a lesion. Yes, when we are like omitting or when we are deleting, when we are leaving some of the sounds, from a word is known as some of the sounds from a word is known as elision. Okay, for example, we are saying that, uh, dear students, this elision is uh, the feature of collective speech. Okay, of uh, informal speech, of uh, of like uh, we can say that uh, daily speech uh, when speech is not pre-planned or formal speech. In formal speech. We are not like uh, uh, giving importance to elision 
or elision does not occur okay but in collective speech uh, speech and uh, very like informal speech in colloquial language uh, this uh, feature comes so uh, now what's meant by elision the omission or deletion of some sounds from a word is known as elision like uh, we can say that uh, pick and drop pick and drop okay and we are saying pick and drop pick and drop in hurry we are not like saying another example we can say uh, aspects aspects we have aspects like aspect aspect we are saying uh, in hurry we are saying or in collective speech we are saying uh, uh, in uh, 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 in collective speech like uh, aspects we are omitting the ter sound or sir sound okay at the last so this process is called elision mcq number 15 the last one number of inflectional morphemes in english are eight okay eight morphemes eight inflectional morphemes are there like one is for plural dog dogs and one is uh dogs uh dogs uh uh kate okay and ali's bag another for possessive case okay and uh, another is used for like uh, uh taken takes takes taken taking see these all are inflectional morphemes in english and they are uh eight in number thanks for watching dear students if you have any question you can ask you can comment in comment you can ask questions you are welcome to ask questions wait for other videos and i have also uploaded some of the videos regarding uh, english uh, linguistics mcqs so please watch the same videos also assalamu alaikum